the second part of Jesus' identity being revealed in the Easter story is Jesus the prophet. After his humble triumphant entry into Jerusalem, when he's been crowned king by the crowd, Jesus goes to the temple. And you would expect in this story, like all other king coronation stories, that he would go and he would worship and he would... Uh, the dignitaries would come and uh, celebrate him and they would place a crown on his head. But Jesus is different. He's a different sort of king. Jesus goes to the temple and, and seeing the money changes there, he's enraged. He's angry. He's furious. So angry that he takes makes a whip of cords, probably using his belt or something like that. He throws over the tables of the money changers and he chases them out of the temple and he starts to recite Isaiah and he says, my house shall be called a house of prayer. And then he, he ad-libs a bit and adds his own bit. And he says, but you have made it a den of robbers. We get given a clue of why Jesus was so angry when he says, when he recites Isaiah, because when he says, my house shall be called a house of prayer. If he was to keep reciting that, Isaiah says, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations or for all people. The money changers had come and set up and, and they had created an artificial barrier preventing particularly the poor and pre preventing particularly the marginalized from coming and worshiping and being in God's presence. This barrier enraged Jesus. He came to do justice, just as the, the prophets of old called Israel back to doing justice because justice was God's will. Jesus came and did justice. But as a, as a prophet, he didn't stop there in the temple. It says that he was in there every day teaching and preaching. He was bamboozling the, the uh, priests and the Levites and the lawyers and the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They all came with trick after trick, question after question, testing him about money, about theology, about resurrection, about Caesar. And Jesus bamboozled them each and every time. Jesus is also a prophet because after he gives these bamboozlings to the leaders, he gives teaching and lessons to the people. He warns them about the destruction of Jerusalem to come. He teaches them all that they need to know because he knows that his time is short and he wants to give the messages that he feels are most important during this time. He gives them warnings. He gives them lessons. He gives them hope. He calls them to be prepared and to follow God. Jesus, the prophet. He's the prophet because he comes to do justice. He's the prophet because he bamboozles the leaders of the time and he's a prophet because he teaches and gives warnings to his people and guides his people. Stay tuned for part three of our Easter message, Jesus the High Priest.